Are you into trying out new tools but like to see some reviews before you buy? Or are you like me and like trying out new tools that others have not used before? Well, you are in the right place. In this short little video, I'll show you a really neat little tool from Xeron, the professional photo etch scissor. I've been using these for some time now and most recently on a large ship I am building. Hi, I'm Darren from Model Railroad Techniques. Our YouTube channel produces how-to and product review videos for the modeler, no matter their skill level. If you follow this video, you too might come up with other uses for this versatile little tool. Let's get started. Subscribe. Click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Support us on Patreon. Like us on Facebook and Instagram at Model Railroad Technic. So let's go through quickly some of the features now. They ship with that little uh, piece of plastic over the blade, so that's for obvious reason to protect the blade and also your fingers because they are quite sharp. So they measure about well, six inches long, which is about 14 or 15 in the metric term. They're quite ergonomic type uh, hand grips there. You can see I've had, as I said, I've had mine for a little while now and I've been using them and they haven't lost their, their sharpness, that's for sure. So you can see they're, they're obviously acting a scissor action. You can sort of hold it right down the end of the the handle so you can get a little bit up, uh, a bit more finite control. So that's some of the, the brass etch on the ship that I'm building. So as you can see, with the nice long needle nose type ends, you can actually get quite up nice and close. So you can see the turnbuckle at the top there that I'm not actually going to cut. They're only a fraction of an inch in size. You can see compared to the size of my finger, I've only got small hands. So these are a great little tool. So they cost about $27 American from either Amazon or Micromark. Here's some more of the photo etch um, that I'll actually will show you how I cut. So in shortly you'll see me cut off a little wheel there in my left hand thumb there. So what I'm gonna do is get it in reasonably close and cut it off. But what I will show you is what you can do if you cut the sprue just a little bit too long on it. If I can get that in focus there, I, I deliberately cut it so you can I can show you how close these cutters will cut. So just bear with me for a second. I'll try to keep it in focus best I can and cut it up near the camera. I do need to point out, you just gotta make sure when you do cut and use these scissors that the, the scissor pincers are nice and square to the edge as you will bend the, the detail piece. So you can see they've got lovely long uh, blade pincers at the front and it's just a matter of getting the, the item nice and flat as I did there and snipping it off. So you can see it uh, leaves a little bit of a burr um, but obviously you got to understand that was me doing that up against the camera and not right in front of my eyes like you would normally do it. So that's the end of this very, very, very short video. I uh, just wanted to get one out. I'm obviously still doing my ship build, but I'm getting a little bit behind with that, so I need to really crack on with it. So, um, yeah, the Xeron Professional Photo Edge Scissor, I think it's a great fit for purpose tool. I'm not sure what other purposes you could use it for. One thing I can say, definitely don't use it on anything that's other than flat photo etch. I did try it at one of my ends and I have slightly dented my blade, so that's definitely a no-no. Um, as I pointed out, make sure that the item is nice and flat. It will bend the photo etch on the, the finer, the brass um, staunchions and the like, which I've done before. Um, some of you may be thinking that I'll just use a knife to cut it out, but I find the, the photo etch scissor a, a lot easier to cut out the really fine details. I haven't done the staunchions yet, sorry, the um, the turnbuckles on the boat yet, but I've done it on staunchions and other photo etch type bits and bobs on some some wagon, uh, some resin wagons and uh, the like that I've been building over the years. So I think it's a great little tool, not a bad price. They're on, I've got their track cutters, but three or four pairs of them, I don't think you can go wrong with them. They'll last for you for years if you take care of them. So thanks for watching and look out for the ship build. Catch you next time. Make sure you subscribe, click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Support us on Patreon, like us on Facebook and Instagram at Model Railroad Technique.